Hello, my name is Jami, and I'm going to show you how to make a waffle model on the laser cutter from Rhino. So, here we have our 3D mass, our mass model. And the way I actually created this, this mass is uh, by just drawing some curves. As you can see, what I did is I draw them on the front view, and then on the top view, I would just move the control points until I get the curve I want and as well after that I um, copied the same surface the same um, the same curves and rotate them and actually manipulate some of the points and create a, a profile in which I derive the surfaces I use the sweep to command which is um, will let you select two rails and it will create a surface according to the profile that you give it to along those rails so for example in this case we have uh, this curve going along the two rails giving you the profile that you want and I did the same thing for the other sides you select the curves and select a, a profile and that's how you get your shape so now what we're gonna do what we wanna do is to get the profile of the of the object on the x and y coordinates. So I went ahead and created some layers that I'm we're gonna need. Contour X, Ctrl Y layers, intersect X and Y, and the cut X and cut Y layers. So we'll go ahead and start with the Ctrl X. So what we do is select our object and we type the command contour and we have to set the direction that we wanted to get the profiles from so we'll do it along the X and it will ask you the distance this depends on your model and how apart you want the surfaces to be in this case I'm just going to put two units and as you can see we have a profile of our, sh of our 3D model on planes so what we can want to do Let's go ahead and type the uh, planner surfaces command to make this uh, solid. Now we're gonna do the same with the y coordinate. So we're gonna get our our mass. We're gonna repeat the the command contour. Get the direction and set the units. And this is our profile from uh, on the y axis. So what we can do again is uh, to plan our surfaces, and if if you don't have a if you have an error, it's because sometimes the uh, the contours or the model isn't accurate. So you just need to go and fix it. For example, in this case, the curves are open, and you need a uh, close curves, and they need to be flat to make to use uh, the planner surface command. So now if we select this. And we do planar surfaces. It will should give us uh, the plane. So now this is how our three D model will look like after we laser cut it. And so we're gonna go ahead and uh, <coughs> actually get the intersections to make the notches in between them, so we can put them together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all surfaces, and at this point it's uh it's really it's really good to save your file before you go any further because the intersections depending on the amount of surfaces that you have might take a while and it might crash your computer if it's too much. If you get a, if you are in that situation, you might be better uh, subdivide your project into groups and do the intersections on different parts. So we're gonna type the command um, select surfaces so we'll select only the surfaces and not the curves if you select the curves the intersections are gonna be points so you don't want that and we're gonna do intersection intersect so I'm gonna pause the video until the computer um, gets all the intersections in between
Alright, so we got our intersections. So we're gonna do, we're gonna um, first of all change this to the intersect layer and also copy a uh, duplicate to the intersect uh, X. So copy objects to the layer. So in this case, you should have intersects on Y and also intersects on X. So now let's just move this down here. So, let's move this in. It's a little more legible, more organized. So what we're gonna do. We're gonna just work with the X right now. So just get the X and contour and intersect layer on and what we want to do is actually arrange this in a way which we can see all the surfaces on a single plane so what I like to do is just take one of these um, uh, views and start moving your surfaces in, in order so what we're gonna do we're just gonna lay them all of them flat to keep ourselves organized So the way I'm selecting it just by dragging to the to the right and making the selection box, it's actually selecting everything within this box. You can also do the uh, the selection to the left. Pretty much we'll do the same, but uh, this for this task it doesn't make any difference. But it does the. Um, this um, dash selection selects everything that intersects your selection box while the this other selection only selects whatever is, is inside the box so now if we go to our right view we have all our pieces laid uh, flat on one view so now what we're gonna do is the, the tedious part which is um, the one that it it's time consuming, so we're gonna switch to our cut X layer and we're gonna draw um, a profile notch to do the, the, the section cuts. So, this depends on the thickness of your material. Uh, so, you need to, if you're using 1 16th, you'll do this by 1 16th thick or 1 8th, depending on the thickness of your material. And this tutorial, we're just gonna use 0.5 units as the um, as our thickness uh, and I do this profile you might actually need a probably a longer profile for some of the some of the planes you can just track the control points and elongate it and the way that I like to do this is just by just having the O snap uh, the midpoint of snap only and what we're gonna do we're gonna copy this profile on the middle just also turn off the snap so it only snaps on the middle and you're just gonna copy it uh, on every single intersection on the middle point and I'll go ahead and do all this and I'll come back once I'm done All right, now that um that I copy this um this curve along all the surfaces and all and copy it on the middle of all intersections, we're gonna go and trim uh, the notches out of the surfaces. So I'm gonna turn off the intersect X layer because I don't need them anymore. That was just a a reference point to place the, the notches, and 
I'm gonna select all the objects on this layer, on the codex, so I don't have to select individually because it might be uh, very painful and waste. Um, you can waste a lot of time just doing that. And we're gonna go ahead and trim the surfaces. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna select with the command is still running, we're just gonna go and click on the area so we wanna trim. Also, one thing that I should mention before doing all this is the, um, to make sure that your model fits to the uh, the direction of the notches. Um, there are some cases in which you cannot uh, um, put together a model in a certain way and you might need to have uh, the notches going um, from this direction rather than the other direction to make it work. So just double check on your um, uh, analyze your object before doing all this and but th those are like in really complex models or like with a lot of curves and um, curves like coming together in different directions but for this uh, for this tutorial this should be fine because there's so much uh, complexity in this model it's pretty straightforward so you will go ahead and do all this for the rest of them. I'll go ahead and do the notches for the rest of the um, the surfaces, and I'll come back in a second.